Awesome. Let's talk about breathing. Just like a table may be made out of wood and a car may be made out of metal, well, singing is made out of air. Air is the very substance that voice is made out of. And unfortunately, most singers that I've come across breathe incorrectly. Even very good singers often breathe incorrectly and would be even better singers if they breathed correctly. So let's think about this intuitively. Um, let me give you two examples from real life where we really need air. One example is when you jump into a swimming pool or a lake. You're standing on the edge, you're getting ready to jump into the water and you know you need air to survive under the water. How do you do that? Hmm, let's think about it. I'm standing on the edge and here I go, I'm jumping into the water. <sighs> Let me do it one more time and try to pay attention to how I breathe. <sighs> what you noticed there probably was an explosive breath. Let's give another example. Let's say um, there's a smoke-filled room and I need to run in and save my pet or bag or whatever. Okay, here's the smoke-filled room. I'm, I'm running in. Okay, ready? And... I'm back. Now, in both these scenarios, whether I'm jumping into the lake or I'm running into a smoke-filled room, I breathe the same way. Short, explosive breath. <sighs> that, that is how you need to breathe when you sing. So, like this. <gasps> La! Right? Now, uh, I'm going to mention two songs that you can look up on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, or wherever you listen to your music. One of them is uh, When You Believe by Whitney Houston and Mariah Carey. And another one is He Won't Go by Adele. Take a listen to these two songs. You may want to pause the video or you can take a listen to them a little bit later. But what you will notice is, number one, they breathe explosively like I just demonstrated, like jumping into a pool. <gasps> Number two, you're gonna notice that they breathe very frequently. If you listen to When You Believe, <clears throat> try to count how many words does Whitney Houston sing before taking another breath. You'll be surprised to discover that on average, she probably sings two and a half or three words before taking another breath. Quite often, she sings only one word before taking another breath. Can you believe it? Now, it's not like she can't hold her, it's not like she can't sing a note and hold it for, you know, a minute. She could if she wanted to. But she chooses to just sing a, sing a single word and then take another breath. Interesting. And the same with Adele. If you listen to He Won't Go, you'll notice that Oh my goodness, she only sings for like three seconds at a time. He won't go. And then takes another breath, even though she could definitely sing a lot longer. So I want to address this point. Why would they take breaths so frequently? Most singers out there, you know, who, who aren't maybe professional or who may be using a different technique, they will... They have the survival approach where they take a breath and then they sing and they sing and they sing and they sing until they get to the very end of the line and they're out of air and then they take another breath to survive. <clears throat> There's a problem with that. As we discussed earlier, air is the very substance that the voice is made out of. What that means is when you're full of air, it's like a carpenter with a toolbox full of tools. 
You have all the resources at your disposal and you can form and shape and manipulate your voice to maximum effect. Let's call that gold quality of singing when you are full. Now, once you go from full to, let's say, 70% full, that's like having a toolbox with only 70% of the tools. And now you can only shape the voice 70% as well as you could before. So I would call this like silver quality of singing. Now, let's say you, you chose to continue singing after that, and you're down to, let's say, 35% air. Well, that's like you having a toolbox with just 35% of your tools. We want to be always full of air so that we have complete control and all resources available to shape our tone into what, what we want it to. So, you see the difference between these two approaches. Uh, this wrong approach keeps singing, 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 singing until they're out of air, despite the fact that the voice is getting worse over time, right? The other approach, as I just showed, like with Whitney Houston and Adele and many others, isn't concerned with surviving. They're concerned with the quality of the sound and the ability to shape it. So they'll sing, they'll be at 100, they'll sing, and then when they're like 80% full or maybe 70% full, even though they could go on singing, they'll take another breath. So I really do recommend that you check out When You Believe by Whitney Houston or He Won't Go by Adele. and uh, and. Try to learn from this.